Hello everyone, in this video let us learn how we can uh, fetch the base URL of uh, Jira instance. So we have been working on uh, script runner for quite a while and uh, I'm trying to demonstrate how we can use uh, script runner in a variety of ways to do something uh, useful. So today let us uh, do um, a very interesting thing. Whenever you're working with the uh, script runner, you may be uh, asked to basically fetch data from Jira and uh, maybe uh, export it in uh, a specific format. And uh, when you're using script runner, you can of course uh, fetch uh, all the fields and, uh, and actual data that you have in your uh, Jira uh, issue in your projects. So today I wanted to show you something uh, that might be useful. So let us say if you have written a script where you are uh, exporting the list of issues, mm -hmm. let us say you have uh, uh, written a script to retrieve uh, issue key or maybe some custom fields. And we do have some videos on uh, those uh, topics. Now what if you want to also retrieve the full base URL. So when you look at this particular script, I'm trying to retrieve my issue key. So this is of course for just one uh, specific issue. And uh, this is just to demonstrate how it will work. But uh, it could be a list of issue keys or a list of issues. And this uh, will be the case when you are working with uh, let us say JQL and we'll be uh, making a video on uh, how to fetch result. Uh, using uh, running basically from the JQL and by running your JQL using script runner. So let us say if you want to also retrieve the base URL, you can do that very easily by this uh, line of code where I'm using this uh, variable called base URL. It could, it could be any variable and uh, I'm just uh, using this, uh, uh, this uh, method get application properties dot get string and I'm basically uh, uh, trying to retrieve my jira.base URL, which is uh, my application, pro one of my application property. And when you have this uh, variable, you can uh, quickly print it. So I'll uh, just do a simple uh, return and uh, let us see if uh, I'm able to retrieve the base URL. So I can uh, definitely retrieve my base URL, which is uh, nothing but this IP address followed by the uh, port number. But you can make it uh, uh, look a bit pretty. Uh, you can uh, use maybe colon in between if you want to uh, concatenate the base URL and the issue key. But uh, uh, ideally, you may want to form the actual uh, URL of your issue. And in that case, you need to use something like browse slash. Uh, so just ha just have these two slashes in the front. And also at the end of this uh, browse uh, word here and uh, you will get this uh, complete URL. Now this URL is something that you can now directly use and this is the complete uh, URL of uh, that specific issue but of course it can be for uh, a list of issues and uh, maybe in the next uh, few videos we'll cover how to work on JQL and how to run the JQL and retrieve the list of issues instead of uh, just one issue. And these things are uh, really useful because uh, Maybe you want to send this uh, URL that you have just uh, retrieved uh, to a different tool or maybe you want to prepare a report or maybe you want to just send it to someone uh, uh, external. I, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm just uh, trying to think of different uh, use cases. But uh, the good thing about uh, this base URL is that uh, using this base URL, you can form the actual uh, URL that will refer to one of your issue and of course it can be an issue. So this is something uh, that I wanted to share very quickly in today's video and I hope you learned uh, something new. Thank you very much.